Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a showing to do for a rental property. There's not too much to it. Uh, so this guy has passed all the criteria in his application at least. I always require that people submit an application before I will set up a showing. This is for a couple of reasons. One's for safety. I have all their information and someone's going to be informed, either my wife or somebody else, that I'm going to the, this house at this time to meet this person if something happens. Uh, the other reason is just to make sure this person's serious. If, you know, if someone's just a tire kicker, they're not going to take the time to fill out an application, even though it's free. I'd say 10, maybe 10% of the people that are interested in, in the house actually fill out an application. So the people that do that are typically more serious about it. And then I will go through the application and if they hit my criteria, then I will set up a showing. I would advise never do a showing before someone fills out an application for you, whether it's paper, online, however you wanna do it. I will bring you along and show you what I do and then I will let you know how it goes afterwards. All right, see you there. So as I show you guys around this newly renovated apartment, I'd like to give you a couple tips and tricks that I've learned throughout the years while doing showings. The first one is be there 15 minutes early at least. This is to make sure everything is clean, there's nothing out of order, make sure all the lights are on and everything is how you want. Also make sure that you bring air fresheners at least a day before and put them around the house. It's just uh, something Something simple and subtle is what you want. Something like a fresh linen. The next tip is to tell the prospective tenant to text you or call you one hour before the showing. Tell them if you do not text or call me one hour, I will not show up. This is to eliminate people ghosting you or standing you up. It happens more times than you can imagine. Sometimes even when they do text you beforehand an hour, I've had people still not show up after that, but this will eliminate most of that. The next thing is don't be overdressed and also don't be underdressed. The tenants are going to come in plain clothes, so you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable by being too dressy or underdressed. Usually I wear jeans and a polo. And the last tip I have is be friendly and let them walk around by themselves so they don't feel any pressure and let them ask questions you have. So I removed the audio from the rest of the showing just out of respect for the tenant. Uh, he walked around and looked at everything. First thing he commented on was the new remodel of the place. He really liked it. And then he walked into the kitchen and was asking about the appliances, whether they stay or not. And I replied they do stay as a courtesy to the tenant. The next thing he asked was about the utilities. And I told him the electric and gas will be in your name. The water bill will be mailed to you and the sewer is included in rent. The last thing he asked about was the next steps because he was interested in the apartment. So I told him that I will be calling his references and see if they check out. And then I will be sending him a background check to his email. I also let him know that the background check company will charge him a fee. And once that comes back to me and I clear him, that will be all set and we'll be able to sign the lease. So that showing went very well. The guy was very excited about the house and he wants it and he seems like a very good fit for the house. The next step was to send him the background check, which I did. He filled that out. There was nothing on there that concerned me. His credit was good. I called his references. They all checked out well. He has signed the lease and he has given the first month and security deposit and he's got the key. So he's got the house. So another one filled. That's what we'd like to see. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye.